What's up heroes? It's me Connor. I'm really sorry about the microphone. I don't have it with me this weekend, but I am getting a new microphone this week. But I don't really know why you guys are complaining because we got a freaking Star Wars trailer yesterday, which I am so stoked about. And if you didn't see my reaction video to that, I'll put a link like right here or something like that. Maybe a card right up here. Um, so you can check that out. But today, I wanted to talk to you guys about Daisy Ridley's workout for The Force Awakens. Her first major film was Star Wars Episode 7. So, you know it was high pressure because literally, it's the Star Wars fandom. So she took her workouts for this role extremely serious. In the three months leading up to the film, she worked out every single day. One thing you can get from every workout that we talk about on this channel is that these people set goals for themselves. They set goals and then they have a clear roadmap to achieve those goals. And that's what you have to do. And that's what you need to do in a lot of things in your life. But we're specifically talking about it with fitness. So set goals in your training program. Set small goals that you can achieve in a month to three months. And then set long-term goals, maybe six month or a year goals that you can achieve. Because that's what these actors and actresses do. I mean, you see that in the Superman training that Henry Cavill did. You see that in Ben Affleck's Batman training. Every one of these people set goals for how they want their body to look, and then they know a clear picture of how they can get to that goal. The first training she did was plyometric cardio training. And what plyometric means is that she basically is leaving the ground. It's all about jump training. So that's like agility ladders and box jumps. So she did a lot of this in her workout routine. And this allowed her to build that athleticism and athletic look that she wanted. Next thing she did was weight training. So she basically did your typical weight training. She did deadlifts, squats, bench press, which I would advise all of you to do those main lifts for weight training. But this was to gain that power look that she was looking for. So plyometric helped her with the athleticism goal, but weight training was what helped her achieve that power looking goal. The third and final thing that she did was fun training. I love that she did this because that's what this channel is all about. My goal is to help you guys have more fun while you train. I want to make training fun for you guys. That's why I incorporate all these superheroes and nerdy stuff because I want you to enjoy training. And Daisy Ridley did that. A lot of her fun training was either dancing or she was doing fight training, which is epic. Originally, this video was also going to be about Adam Driver, who plays Kylo Ren, because he also used fight training. Star Wars has a long history of using fight training, or lightsaber training rather, to advance the athleticism and endurance of their actors and actresses. Anyways guys, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please be sure to like the video, and if you want more Star Wars and superhero training videos just like this one, please be sure to subscribe. Also, let me know what you guys thought about the trailer yesterday that came out, and tell me what you want to see on this channel in the comments below. Anyways guys, I'll catch you in the next video.